It's Brian Preston, the money guy. Time is your friend and the value of time. Yeah, again, this is the whole, you know, we, we talked about how powerful compounding interest is. The thing that makes compounding interest so powerful is the time that you apply. And so just like in most things, it takes time for you to end up achieving some success, no matter what it is you're working towards. Yep. And, and that, let's jump into some quotes, because I like some quotes on this, because Warren gives perspective. Successful investing takes time, discipline, mm -hmm. and patience. No matter how great the talent or effort, some things just take time. Now, this quote, it's great, but I was like, can we read this? <laughs> but here, let's keep it going. So I'll, I'll pick it back up. Some things just take time. You can't produce a baby in one month by getting nine women pregnant. It's true. It's true. Some I mean, you got to put in the time. time. And that's why I think a lot of people taking out the kind of, it's an odd visual there of what Warren <laughs> has created, but it is showing, I think, a lot of young people, they come into, why, why do you think Bitcoin is so popular? It's because it's had the, this, these straight up, you know, hockey stick moments sure. where it has created, you know, your 20 something year old millionaires and things. But the reality is the majority of people make their money over time. Right. And you just kind of have to start the behaviors. You have to start the processes and then come back and you all of a sudden figure out that, hey, your money has turned into something. And it's not only investing, but we talk about this also as an experience. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, Malcolm Gladwell, he talks about the 10,000 hours that it takes to achieve expert level in any task that you're doing. It's amazing that if you want to start doing something, if you want to be an athlete or a performer or a financial advisor or an underwater basket weaver, it takes time to become an, a, an expert. So if you are someone else to pursue those vocations or if there's something you do want to pursue, be willing to put in you know, 10,000 hours. That's about five years of time to work towards that mastery level. It's not something that just clicks and happens overnight. No, so so well said. And then I had two more quotes that, that were on top of this is, Someone sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Love it. And then here's this is what I think is when I think of that quote of time and what how powerful it is. This is something that I think a lot of people lose perspective on. It goes back to that visual I've talked about already on today's show. Is that people see Warren at this level of wealth at eighty one billion dollars? What they forget though is that it took fifty six years for Warren to become a billionaire. It was 1986, and then over the next 33 or so years, now his money has grown 81-fold. It's the same way with you guys. You're going to find, you hear it all the time, the first million is the hardest to get because you're working, but you do reach a critical mass size where your money starts working for you. So the biggest things you can do for yourself for success is while you're young, just Get the money in there. Don't hyper focus on where to put it. Look, that's why we talk about index target retirement Love funds, it. is because you focus on the behavior that's going to create success. Get into the nuanced stuff after you built your assets up to a critical mass three, four, five hundred thousand dollars. I love it. Uh, the next one that we talk about all the time, and, and part, part of that is, as you recognize, okay, time's on my side, compounding interest on my side. This is another beautiful Warren Buffettism. This is number seven optimism is a good thing. This is so powerful. And by the way, I love the slide that FTE Daniel pulled up here because it's really that middle one you got to look at. And you look at this glass and you go, so what do you see there? What 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 are you, what behold what's sitting before you? Is are you looking at a glass that's half empty? Mm -hmm. or are you looking at a glass that's half full? And that kind of tells what your your outlook is. And I will tell you, it pays to be an optimist. Yep. And this is where Warren comes in on that. Listen to this quote. Early Americans, we should emphasize, were neither smarter nor more hardworking than those people who toiled century after century before them. But those venturesome pioneers crafted a system that unleashed human potential and their successors built upon it. This economic creation will deliver increasing wealth to our progeny far into the future. Yes, the buildup of wealth will be interrupted for short periods from time to time. It will not, however, be stopped. I'll repeat. What I've both said in the past and expect to say in the future, babies born in America today are the luckiest crop 
in history. If, if that does not get your blood flowing and make you ready to go run through a wall, I don't know what will. Well, I think it requires some explanation because I think a lot of people, when I'm talking to young people about money, I think there is some a lot of false information or just misunderstanding about how wealth is created. I mean, I grew up in a household where we heard people inherited sure. wealth and other things. We know that that number is really dependent upon which book or research you're looking at. 77 to 86% of millionaires are first mm-hmm. generation, but that's not put out there. But here's what I think people don't understand. It's not like the pizza pie is just one size, and the only way you can build wealth is if you go take somebody else's slice mm-hmm. of pizza. What the reality of how the economies and the global market works is the small pizza over time doesn't just turn into a medium pizza, doesn't just turn into a large pizza. It turns into that Gumby-sized pizza that is so big that you get a T-shirt that if you eat this thing, because that's what happens. The pie gets bigger. So it's not like you have to actually go take from somebody. You can create opportunity, and the system is constantly growing upon itself. It's an amazing, amazing thing. And Warren, he said it this way. He said, American business, and consequently a basket of stocks, is virtually certain to be worth far more in the years ahead. Innovation, productivity gains, entrepreneurial spirit, and the abundance of capital will see to that. Ever-present naysayers may prosper by marketing their gloomy forecasts, but heaven help them if they act on the nonsense that they peddle. I love that part about heaven help them if they actually act. So there's a lot of people selling stuff. It cracks me up when you watch any cable news right now. There's always people pushing, you know, how to start your own seed mm-hmm. bank, you know, buy our periodical because we got the guy who bought Amazon when he was yep. first starting out or the guy who caused, called the last mortgage downturn. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's all kind of things, but... Forecast, you have to be very careful because it's, it's just a dangerous, dangerous game. But look, we're just two guys sitting here. Don't take our words for it. One of the things that we did is we actually did a survey of all of our wealth management clients that have come to us from the Money Guy show. And we laid out some questions so we could discern what do they think about money and what are some of the things they look at. So when we asked them the question, yeah. the insight was pretty powerful. We asked them, are you an optimist or a pessimist? And what I thought was crazy is, is that, and our, our research tied in very closely to what Chris Hogan and Everyday Millionaires came in with their 10,000 surveys they did. We just reached out to our several hundred clients yep. that from the Money Guy show, and we found out, I mean, that 81% are optimists. So this is 81% of financially successful individuals and households. A lot of them have achieved millionaire status. Eight out of 10 of them claim to be optimists. So obviously, I think, it pays to look at the glass as half full. So definitely look at your mindset and ask yourself, am I looking at the world the right way to recognize opportunity and be an optimist about the future? Love it.